So um, I'm just a little bit interested in where Brazil is exporting to. Um, you can kind of look right here in South America, first of all. Um, and you can see a lot going to Argentina. What is that? Uh, Three billion of exports and about almost two billion going to Uruguay and not a whole lot going to Paraguay and about a billion to Colombia. But if you zoom out, you can see that China is getting about 30 times that. So quite a lot of stuff going from Brazil to China. Uh, and then also a lot going to Iran and Turkey, incidentally, and uh, actually Spain. And look at that, Netherlands, about 10 billion. Holy cow. So uh, this small little country getting about one third of what China is. Anyway, so uh, just interesting to see. Um, I guess you can also look at imports, um, a lot coming from the United States and uh, Germany and Russia and a uh, little tiny little country right up here. So anyway, um, on the uh, global share map, I've been having some good luck looking at these. You see that uh, Brazil is producing, wow, 5%. Jeez. Um, so quite a lot of the on the agriculture side um and i have seen quite a number of pretty cool uh, companies in brazil um just as a disclaimer i am investing in some companies here in brazil um but uh you know and you can see minerals being pretty high up there and then metals kind of decreasing a lot anyway a lot of these have been decreasing except for food um, so that's why I like that one. Um, over time, you kind of see agriculture being a big part. Holy cow. So uh, of the exports, it's like getting there to uh, $90 billion. Holy cow. Uh, of exports. And in the uh, minerals, getting about $45 billion. So... Uh, yeah, so basically minerals and agriculture being huge for Brazil. Now, if you break that down, we should see that just about here. So, whoa, this is like one of the first times I've ever seen food be about half of the economy. Um, and then uh, petroleum, you can see, uh, so soybeans being huge amount. And a lot of that um, may be going to uh, animal food interesting well anyway um this is also i think what it is nut you could do this one which is a little bit different classification system and you can see soybeans chemicals and some uh, different sugars beets it's just nice to see a different uh, version and then also gross is kind of slightly different sometimes this is total number of sales um net is like after so after expenses, which I kind of like to do. So I prefer this one just because it tells me where I could actually get involved in the economy if I wanted to. And I think you can even do two digit here to kind of simplify it. <laughs> so you can see meat is pretty big of food <clears throat> and uh, some other areas. And uh, going back here, um, there is so that's basically on imports or uh, exports. And uh, on the import side, you can see this is pretty complicated. I can try to make this a little simpler. So imports, a lot of people coming in from tourism. Not a whole lot, actually. I'd say 10% isn't a whole lot. I've seen a lot of countries be like at 20% and you'd be like, what? Um, so not a whole lot of people really um, in terms of the percentage of the economy. A lot of electrical equipment and uh, fertilizers and uh, some other things that you might wonder about. Um, and um, on the import side, again, you can see kind of some European imports here um, and what's going on for imports over time. Um, and uh, I don't know, I kind of worry about chemicals a little bit here. 
in general um, being imported and uh, just even food being imported so uh, anyway uh, but uh, yeah I hope this helps give you some basic ideas and uh, let me know what you think